channel in my last video I let it slip that I was getting a new reptile later this week or next Monday so next week so I told you for my next video I would take you shopping for my new reptile and set up his new enclosure I'll give you the gender his new enclosure so this video will probably be a little more vlog style um, I have both my cameras and my phone with me because everything is about to die so we'll see how well this goes. So I just finished at the bank. I cashed my checks that I got for my birthday and for work. Pulled out money so I can go and buy the animal on Monday. And yeah, so now we're going to go buy stuff for the animal. Also, my bank is really weird and it never goes as planned. They won't cash your check if you don't have at least $50 in your account. And they won't cash my work checks because the checks say Wells Fargo on them. So I just have to deposit everything into my account and then wait for it to show up. Which is really irritating when you do it on a Friday and you don't know it's going to show up on Saturday. Ugh. And on your right. We'll be passing Arcadius's vet. Of course that would happen. Why wouldn't that turn on? building snack. After an eventful day yesterday, we are now back in action. For those of you that don't know, my car broke down in front of PetSmart. So shopping was put on hold. I had to call AAA and get towed. But we're all good now. My car is fixed. And now I'm going to Home Depot and Pet Supplies Plus. <laughs> that I wanted to keep the new reptile on an actual substrate instead of just paper towels and that spur of the moment decision brought my total up to $51. I was totally not planning on spending $51 today on this stuff. <sighs> one last stop at one of my favorite stores for some cheap reptile stuff. <laughs> Now that I have everything for my new reptile, I can start to put together the enclosure. So I already went through and I put holes on the sides for ventilation. I did a line of holes on this side, this side, and a couple holes on the ends. So that's all done. I'm going to start off by attaching a heat mat. So I got the Zoom Mad heat mat and I got it at Pet Supplies Plus, but I price matched it to Amazon because on Amazon it was like $15 and at Pet Supplies Plus it was like $30. So like half off. So I have the heat mat on now. 
Next up is substrate. So here are my two substrates that I got. I got this jungle mix that's a fur and sphagnum peat moss and the eco earth loose coconut fiber. So I'll be mixing those together. <laughs> are the hides. I have the hide that I showed you already and I have this makeshift hide from a petering container. Obviously temporary. It's see-through and kind of sucks. And then I also have this cork round. So that can be a pretty good hide too. change of plans. Peach ring container took a hike. This became the cold hide. There's now moss in here and moss in the warm hide with the water over there. And up next is plants. <laughs> Lastly, I have the temperature gauges and hygrometers. I want to get electronic ones, but I have to order them. So I just ran to the pet store and got these. I also have my thermostat that will be hooked up. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. And that is it. The bin is done. It's in its place next to Phoenix. The thermostat is all set up. Now I'm just going to monitor it for a couple of days and make sure it is suitable for my new little friend.